Welcome. In front of me is a Motorola Moto G9 Power and today I'll show you how to transfer files from your device to an SD card and vice versa. And to get started you do want to open up the files app which for me is right over here. Just continue. Once you open it up you want to scroll down where you should see your storages right at the bottom. So I'm going to start with the internal storage which is the storage of the device. And from here you can see that there is a lot of folders, but majority of them are not very important. The ones that are, are DCIM, and here you will find photos and videos captured with the device. Then we do have a downloads folder, which will contain any, anything that you have downloaded using either web browser or email, whatever you have downloaded from whatever, it's gonna go in here. And then at the bottom we do have a pictures folder which contains screenshots. Although downloads and screenshot or pictures are empty because I don't actually have anything in there. I uh, haven't down, done anything to occupy this space. But I do have a couple of photos that I will use as an example so I have something to move. So once you find your files you want to select them and you do so by simply holding it. So see once you hold it it changes the entire thing and do it from the other side just as well so you can see it so as you can see once you hold it it gets selected and it shows up these dots next to each file so you can tap on additional ones if you want to select more now you could also select them all by tapping on the three dots and going to select all if you wanted to but if you're selecting everything i think the better way to do it would be by going back to the camera folder right here and simply selecting the entire folder along with all of its content. But at the end of the day, it is completely your choice which one you feel like it is a better option. Now, once your files are selected, that'd be a folder or just the individual files, you want to tap on the three dots again, and from here you have the two options, either to move it or copy it. If you choose to move the files, they will be completely removed from where they are right now, and move to a new location of your desire while if you go with the copy option it will just create duplicates and keep the original files where they are right now while basically making the new ones in your desired locations or location and for this purpose i'm just gonna go with a the move there we go and once you select one of the options you will get this pop-up at the bottom so you want to select where you want to move them and you can select it to be either on the internal storage, which is where we are right now, but you can simply change the location of them and just drop it into a different folder instead of the DCIM. You could put it into downloads if you wanted to, or you can select the SD card and move it to a completely different storage, which is what I'm gonna select. And from here, you have the free option to drop it wherever you want, either into a folder, smack in the middle here, it's completely up to you. So it's gonna drop it right here continue uh, we do need to allow access there we go and once we do there we go as you can see the camera folder is completely gone from the DCIM folder so let's go back to our SD card and look for our camera folder and here which you can see it's right over here and if I tap on it there are the four photos that were in that folder and that is basically how you would copy or move any kind of file from one location to another and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.